Hey everyone, I'm Anna Delosky. Brutally cold temperatures circling the U.S. for some days now with a bomb cyclone headed for the East Coast later this week. This Arctic chill brings about a very scary real scenario, hypothermia. Since Tuesday, 11 people in the U.S. have died from freezing cold temperatures. Do you know how to identify and prevent hypothermia and potentially save a life? Here are some important facts. Hypothermia occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce it, causing dangerously low body temperatures. Our normal body temp is around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Hypothermia occurs when your body temp falls below 95. It's a gradual process because it happens with prolonged exposure to extreme temps. How can you tell? Slurred speech and altered behavior are the first indicators. Other symptoms, shivering, difficulty moving, slow and delayed cognitive functions. That's often the most difficult to identify. If you suspect you or someone near you is experiencing hypothermia, get indoors if you can. Strip clothing if wet and cover up with blankets and heat pads. But be careful, extreme switch of temps can shock the body, so gradually warming back up is key. To prevent hypothermia in the first place, layering is very important. Wearing a base layer that's breathable and moisture wicking will help you avoid sweating. Sweating is dangerous in cold temps as it can cool you off more quickly. If you get wet, you're better off to take the wet clothing off, even if it exposes you to the cold. And don't forget about your pets. Even though they can sustain cold temperatures, they're still vulnerable to freezing temps. And remember when going outdoors to wear a hat, gloves, warm socks, and shoes. But the best way to prevent hypothermia is to simply limit your time outdoors. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.